Good evening, Elena. Good evening, Dalila. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Welcome. Okay, let us wait a little bit, like a couple of minutes, so that everybody can gather, okay? Good evening, Lourdes. Good evening. Hello, how's everything there? Okay, let us start with the with the class. Okay, we're gonna try to make some minutes for everybody to to get connected to allow them to get connected. But Gabriela, All right? I got it. I got it, Gabriela. Okay, good evening to everybody. Okay, it's uh, one minute after eight. We're gonna start and uh, we're gonna try to make some minutes so that the rest of the uh, participants can gather. I can see Dalia. hello Dalia. So do me the favor to activate camera people. Thank you, Idalia. Thank you, Dalila. Remember, it's important for you to activate your camera. Okay, you can see Sisa there. Don't forget to activate your camera. All right, thank you, lower this. I, I think Margarita is facing problem with camera. Elena, hello, good evening. Well, welcome. Now, yes, right. I can see Margarita there. Yeah, I don't know, uh, Gabriela and Elena, if you are able to activate your camera. So, Carlos David is coming. And well, we're going to start so that we can take advantage of time. You know, we only have. 60 minutes and this is quite important time it's important uh, let's see good evening everybody hello hello david hello carlos david good evening well the the biggest question right or one of the most important questions in the class what have you learned lately uh, lower this Let us know about something that you have decided to learn tonight. I mean, today. I have, have a study about the sequence 
adverbs. The sequence adverbs, okay. Sequence adverbs. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. and... I. ¿Cómo digo encontré? I found. I found. The adverbs of sequence are used to describe the order in which things happen. Uh, usually, usually these adverbs are used to tell a story, story, write a recite, or give instructions. Or give instructions. Oh, instruction. I have, for example. How how make how to make an omelette? First, I break the eggs. Then, I heat. No, como como digo H E A T. H E H E A T. Heat. Heat. Heat the butter in a pan. Pan. Next, I add the eggs, and finally, I eat the omelette with toast. Okay, so that's a sequence of a, of a recipe, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So that, that, that tells me that you have been studying about sequence of adverbs, or sequence of the sequence. Uh, Yeah, lower this. Choose somebody else from the group so that that person can uh, let us know about something new he or she has learned recently. Um, my husband. Uh, who's your husband? Huh? Who is your husband? Who is? Yeah. Is 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 he in the in the in the class now? No, 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 no. Uh, um, with him, I ah, you, you have been my, practicing with him. My ah, uh -huh. ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh -huh. I will I will choose somebody else. Thank you, Lourdes. Thank uh -huh. you very much. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're gonna listen to Margarita. Hello, Margarita. Good evening. I can see that you're studying really hard because you you knew that I was going to mention you. <laughs> Okay, let us know about something you've learned lately, Margarita. You cannot speak now. Okay, so Cesar. Cesar is waiting pace patiently. He says, well, sooner or later, the teacher is going to mention me, okay? So Cesar, this is your opportunity. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't, I don't understood. You, you don't understand? No, well, hey, I, I, I'm asking. I'm asking about something that you have learned recently, something uh, in English. You know, that's my first question in the class. And today I learned a new phrase. Uh, that that is, um, <clears throat> I can bring myself to talk with her, and and just that and. Also, I, I learned uh, uh, the meaning of the five new new words. Which are them? Um, resort, uh, invest, claim, uh, donate, hunger, and factory. All right, very good. So five new words that uh, you got in your repertoire. Okay. Now we'll get back in a minute. I will check list of things. And then we're gonna start with the class. That's about sequence adverts. Good 
tonight is Friday. Wow, today is Friday, October the 13th. Well, some people believe that the, to, today is a bad, bad luck. Okay, Aristides, Carlos David. Present teacher. Cesar. Present teacher. Claudia Margarita. Concepción de Lourdes. Present teacher. Dalila. Present teacher. Elena Marisol. Gabriela Noemí. Present. Idalia. Present teacher. Idalia. Ileana. Present teacher. Ingrid. Juan Carlos. Crisia Morena. Thank you. Liliana. Present. María Magdalena. Present teacher. Olga Lisset. Rina. And Wendy. Wendy Beatriz. Well, We're going to start with sequence of adverbs. I have 13 people. Now, Chrysia, I remember that you were in charge of presenting your conversation yesterday night. And it, I mean, and, and I told you that we were going to start uh, with your participation tonight. So this is your opportunity to present what you had, that you had prepared. Okay, teacher. And I don't know it is Margarita, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Idalia Margarita. No. No. Margarita. Uh, Margarita Arana, then. Okay. But Margarita, I don't know if she had a problem with her audio. Uh, yeah, she seems, she's facing problem with audio. Let me see. Yeah, I think she's she's facing problems with with her with her microphone. Okay, so, you want you can read that. Well, okay, okay, it's all right, Chrisia. Go ahead. Okay. Um, have you ever been in El Tasumal? Yes, I have. I have been there last year. How was your experience there? It was interesting. I have been there for an hour, but I learned a lot. Did you go along? No, I went with my cousin and uncles. That's great. What about you? Well, I have been there many times because when I was a child, I lived in Chalchuapa for many years and I used to visit it. Really? Did you like living in the place? Yes, I like it. And there was a lagoon and I used to go there. Have you ever visited the lago? No, I haven't. I have visited Quatepec Lake. That's all. Wow, great. That's a, a really nice conversation. It was It was quite fantastic. Mm, you, you included present perfect, simple past, sex information, and well, maybe later you can perform it in couples, okay? Uh, at the end, if Margarita is has already solved her, her technical problems, we can try it, okay? Because that was quite good. Yeah. Okay, now let me see. There is somebody in the chat that says, a uh, teacher. Uh, okay, so don't worry, Margarita. Don't worry. 
Well, people, we're going to start. Remember, the topic is about sequence adverbs. Now, I told you that that was uh, quite significant for you to prepare an explanation about sequence of adverbs or sequence adverbs. And I will present something here, but you are going to tell me what you have. Um, I mean, before before going to this part, you are going to tell me what you have investigated about it. Maria Magdalena, what, what can you tell me about the topic? Remember, that was like, uh, like a like a humble assignment. Oh, here we have a, a learning result or a lesson objective that tell us about the, the sequence adverbs. Okay, and it says that they are used to help us to describe a progression of events, often used in recipes or instructions. Sequence adverbs such as first, ten, next, after that, and finally contain information about the order of actions to end, create niche or transitions in writing. In this lesson, for, for an English teacher, uh, Joe Science practices describing recipes in English using sequence adverbs. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, before going to this part, let me see. No, Margarita, we, we do not listen to you. Uh, you, you still have uh, problems with your, with your microphone. Uh, let me see, people. I said Maria, right? Maria, what did you investigate about, about sequence, sequence others? Uh, I investigate the the sequence adverb. Uh, for example, first, second, uh, next, then, after that, finally, after, before, next, usually. No, no, sorry. <laughs> Hasta ahí, teacher. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you are providing some examples of sequence adverbs. Okay, uh, Lourdes, what did you get about sequence adverbs? Ah, but well, actually you told us, right? You told us at the beginning. No, Caesar was the one who, who told us about it. Now, Lourdes, what did you investigate? Uh, teacher Joseph, what did you Um. There are also used to describe the order in which two or more actions happen. Okay. Okay, thank you. Carlos David. Yes, teacher. Aha, uh -huh, Carlos David, what did you investigate? Uh, sorry, no. No puedo investigar, teacher. Absorb. Start now. Start now. Crisia? No, okay. Uh, adverb or sequence. We use the adverb or sequence first, next, then, after that, and finally, to show the order in which two or more actions happen. Okay, Liliana? Olga? Well, some people are facing problems or having technical problems with their microphone. Well, as you mentioned it, there is something that we need to, um, we need to know. Well, I will present this info as an introduction so of sequence adverbs. Okay, as you, as you mentioned it, we use the sequence adverbs uh, such as first, next, then, finally. To what? To describe the order in which two or more actions happen. There are some examples over here like making an omelet, um, you know, 
um, as you said it, it is they are also used to to provide uh, some di some directions on making uh, or or preparing some recipes, and then you start by saying first I break the eggs, then I heat the butter in a pan. That is, this is the example somebody provided tonight, right? Next, I add the eggs. And finally, I eat the omelet with a toast. Now, we, form, we use a comma after first. Next, then. And finally, when they introduce the sentence that describes the action, okay? for an action that happens before any others. We can also use first at the end of the sentence. There are some examples. I have a lot of work to do, period. And then first, what, hap what, what follows after first? Next. No, I mean, I mean in, the, in this sentence. Uh Oh, no, what? I have a lot of work to do, period. Then first, I will make a cup of tea. No, but but this is important, right? This is for your writing, writing. I want you to notice about this. It's because of here we use a comma, right? So we use a comma after first. And, and uh, what I want you to notice is about this comma. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have a lot of work to do, period. Now, then you start a sentence. They say, first comma, mm -hmm. I will make a cup of tea, period. Now, in the next one, I will make a cup of, of tea first. No comma needed there. But over here, it's because you're starting a sentence. Next and then can both be used for an action that happens after another action, but we usually use next for an action that happens immediately after another action or as soon as possible. We can also use next at the end of the sentence. Example, I went to Bolivia on holiday, period. Next, uh -huh. what follows? A comma. I want to go to Brazil. I'm eating breakfast now, period. I will clean the kitchen next. Then, for an action that happens after another action, it is not immediate, we can, we can use, uh, and also then without the comma. Sarah is doing her decree. Then, comma, she wants to be a lawyer. Sarah will probably not be lawyer immediately after she gets a, a degree. Okay. Then they went shopping in the morning and then they went to the zoo. Just notice the way they are using the sequence ad adverbs, right? Because they are not only used for recipes, but you can you will encounter like in any in any context. We don't know if they went to the zoo immediately after they went shopping. And finally, for actions that happen, happens at the end, after any others, or after a long time, we can use finally before the, the verb without a comma. I worked all evening. Finally, comma at the beginning, right, of a sentence, I went to the bed, I went to bed at 11 p.m. I worked all evening and finally, and I finally went to bed at 11. After five years, comma, I finally sold the house. And this is a free, a free practice, okay? Now you're gonna tell me, if you wanna pass your exam, you must study very hard, when? Finally, then, next, or first? First. 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 David woke up late. He was late for work. Then? Then. 
Them. Them. Michael finished the project last week. Finally. 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 When you cook vegetables, you should wash them. Oops, oops, no, no. La pregunta. Uh, uh, when you cook vegetables, you should wash them. No. Dirt. Mm -hmm. Jim was ill for a week before he went to the doctor. Finally? Mm -hmm. Finally? Finally. No. Okay. First. Is it first? First. First. Okay. We're going to check it later. Tom and Sarah travel a lot. They don't know where to go. Next. They don't know where to go next. next. Is it next? I think it's next. Uh, we're going to submit. Let us see if we can get the answers. Okay, well done. So what's the problem over here? Uh -huh. What's finally? I, I, actually, you were just uh -huh. saying this, and then you you okay. regretted that you, you switched to first. Okay, well done. Correct. Correct. Well, actually, you got the idea, people, about this info. I will share the link in case you want to to go over the, the exercise again. Oh. Just in case, right? Well, we're gonna see this video and then we're gonna try to to finish by doing a, another exercise. Now you have a clearer idea. Yesterday you had the homework. Now we're gonna see, well, this is gonna be related to um, a, a recipe, how to provide directions or instructions in a recipe. Pay attention. Can you listen to it, people? No, teacher. Okay. Can you listen? No, no teacher. No. Oh, sorry. Okay, here we go. Now pay attention. Using sequence. No, yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, now pay attention. Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. 
Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb, we use then. Lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explained, in this case, a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. And so as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together, then toast the slices of bread, then spread the mixture on the toast, then put the sandwich in a pan with butter, then try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore we use different words to explain. And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first, should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then, next, and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together, next toast the slices of bread, after that so they could be interchangeable. There's no rule that says that uh, then needs to come after first. You can use those three interchangeably. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe. And I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your ideas. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your favorite food recipe. All right, so 
Yes, it is, it's practically the, the same information we were, we were discussing previously, right? But something that caught my attention was that this, this guy mentioned is that you can say, first mix the peanut butter and banana together, then uh, roast the slices of bread, then spread the mixture on the on the toast, then uh, put, a, put the sandwich in a pan with butter, and then try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. So you can use the same word, right? You can use the same the same sequence of salad, but that is not correct. I mean, you can do it, but you shouldn't do it. That's why we use different sequence salads, right? In order to make, um, if you are writing, in order to make it, make it orderly, right? By using different sequence adverbs. Okay, so it caught my attention what he said. And well, we're gonna do something, people. I will share a link with an exercise. I will give you some minutes. There are only four, four exercises. Do me the favor to visit uh, or to get into this link and solve these exercises. Since there are only four exercises, look at the chat, please. Do me the favor to get there. Well, actually, I think I, I will explain. I will display the the exercise so that everybody can say it hmm. now did you get it There is, there are like some, some, uh, look at the, uh, what we have here. We, are, we need to complete the paragraph with the following sequence adverbs. They, they're easy to make. Uh -huh. What should be, what should be done here? What should we uh, type here? First. First, put some of your favorite ice cream in a bowl. Uh huh. Then, then, then pour two ta tablespoons on a chocolate side up on the ice cream. Next. Next, cover the ice cream in chocolate with a uh, white cream. Finally. Finally, fine. And finally, sprinkle chopped nuts on the white green and top it off with a cherry. So you are talking about the first one. Is that right? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes that is correct. That is, the, that is the first. Okay. Now, in the second one, can you, can somebody help me to complete this? To get there, now this is different, right? So the context is different, right? The first one was a re about a recipe, but this one is about giving directions. To get there, go straight to blocks and to get okay. there, huh? And then, and then turn right. Follow that straight for two blocks. Look for a for a tall gray building on the left. Uh -huh. Is the the last one, teacher? The, the last one. Okay, so think. Uh, to get there, go straight to blocks in. First, turn right. 
Follow that, that is the one you say this one, letter D. Yeah, yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Correct answer. Uh, over here, you you can you can use then twice, right? Because it's not that repeatedly, right? But uh, also you can say first and then. For me, it will be all right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now look at the explanation that that it provides. Then was used twice because the word then is used to indicate the sequence of an action to be taken. In this case. It is telling the person to first go straight. Okay, you see? Like, like the one you mentioned, to first go straight. The blocks and then turn right. After that, it instructs them to follow that straight for the blocks. Okay, so it may be like this one and also this one for me. Now, in this one, we have, I usually get up around 7 a.m. First. First, I drink a cup of coffee. While I'm drinking my coffee, I check my email. Then, then I have breakfast. Finally. finally, finally, break, finally breakfast. Hmm. Oh, I, I say after. After. Huh? So, what is the, after. what is the, yeah, what is the best option? A, B, C, or D? D. Option D. 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 So, this is the best option, right? Because you say, uh, I usually get up at around 7 a.m. First, I drink a cup of coffee. While I'm drinking my coffee, I check my email. Then I eat breakfast. And after breakfast, I take a shower and get dressed. Good. Yeah, that is the one, right? Uh -huh. So, let us see, let us try, let us try to do something. All right. Let's see. Why don't you create some uh, a, a short paragraph in which you use sequence of adverbs? Or sequence adverbs. Okay, do me do me a favor, right? Hazme el favor de crear un, un párrafo corto donde incluyan algunas de los de las sequence adverbs que hemos estudiado esta noche. Vamos a dedicarle que siete minutos a un párrafo de de seis líneas, seis, siete líneas, ok, en donde ustedes incluyan los sequence adverbs. Ya luego nos lo van a leer, ok. Seven minutes, people. Seven will be enough. Hey, if you have, uh, if you if you can work uh, the paragraph in Word, that would be really nice. Si pueden trabajarlo en Word, sería genial para que nos lo puedan compartir.
Buenas noches, gracias. Tienes que tomar los rotavitas. Ay, es que no se queda. Oh, ok, ¿es there anybody ready? Yes, I'm, I'm ready. Uh, okay, Sisa, are you going to share your, the, the, your document or you will read only? Or you will? And I, I read only. Okay. Okay. On Sunday is my free day. First, I wake up at 7 a.m. After I prepare my breakfast and eat it. Next, I take a shower. Later, I go to the soccer field with my friends. Then I go to have a lunch with them. Finally, I come back to my home and I see a movie or rest on my bed. Great. Very good. You use sequence adverbs in the right way. Excellent. Now, anybody else? Me. Lourdes, go ahead. What do I do at the start of the day? First, I get up and prepare and pre prepare prepare breakfast. Then I take my kids kids to school. Next, I work walk for an hour as exercise, and finally, I return to my home to eat my breakfast. Good, quite good. Thank you, Lourdes, for sharing your paragraph. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Thank you, Crisia. Okay, Este step to visit my friends. First, I go to the bus stop. Next, I wait for the bus. <laughs> then, I get off the bus. After that, I get off the bus. And finally, I walk for three blocks and I am there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Giving instruction for visiting <laughs> friends. This is the first time I listen to it. But that is good, right? That is good. And actually, you just... Um, the sequence are best in the right way. Thank you, Chrysia. You're very kind. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Thank you, Maria. I get up at 6 a.m. Then I take a shower. Then I have breakfast. Before having breakfast, I answer some messages. Next, I go to the world. After that, I plan my activities. Finally, I return home. And finally, you get back home. Good. Quite good. Hey, I wonder if people nowadays, you know, I wonder if people start the day by checking the WhatsApp or, or social media. I don't know. What, what do you do first? To wake up? or to check the social media, but one of them may be the first. What's up? <laughs> ahora en día, ahora en día, no, yo no sé qué es lo que hace primero la, las personas, si revisar uh, sus redes sociales o despertar. La verdad, no, no, no me queda claro. No, All first, right. first open, open eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anybody else? Anybody else? Margarita, did you solve your technical problem? Or did you still have... Yes, teacher. Oh, very good. Cambié la máquina, me prestaron una. Well, it's, I'm really happy to listen to you. First, I return from work. Then I prepare my English manual. Then I read my assignment. Yes, next. I read the platform and finally I connect to the class. 
Then you connect to the class. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Well, is there anybody else? No. Well, vamos a dejar tarea, okay? Ah, okay, Idalia, go ahead, Idalia. Uh, my daily routine. First, I wake up at 5 a.m. Then I take a shower at quarter past five. After I eat breakfast at 5.30 a.m. After that, I brush my teeth. Finally, I get to work at 7 a.m. Fantastic, excellent, excellent people. Very good, great, great job. Great job. Okay, tenemos, uh, tenemos un, un proyectito pendiente, ¿verdad? Yo se lo he dicho, se lo dije ayer para que preparen algo eh, que nazca de su creatividad. Una actividad en donde nos, nos permitan conocer en el grupo, ¿qué tanto han, han avanzado en este mes? ¿Ok? Recuérdense que es importantísimo utilizar los temas o poner en práctica los temas que hemos venido estudiando. Inclusive este último, los Sequence Adverbs, ¿ok? Deben de aparecer en su presentación el día miércoles. El día jueves prácticamente terminaríamos Dios mediante con, con este nivel. Y este, desarrollaríamos lo que es el final test. Se lo digo porque eh, vamos a entrar a la última semana y es necesario ah, que nos empapemos de todos los temas que hemos venido estudiando. ¿Ok? Día clave, miércoles. ¿Qué va a suceder ese día? Ustedes van a presentar una actividad, un speech, una, una historia, algo en donde ustedes nos demuestren que efectivamente han logrado adquirir a los conocimientos necesarios de este nivel. Y no solo adquirirlos, sino este, ejecutarlos de manera correcta. Hemos estudiado gramática, hemos estudiado eh, pronunciación, hemos estudiado, um, ahora estudiamos sequence adverbs, eh, la, cómo se pronuncian, cuando, cómo se utilizan, etc. Entonces, hay mucho que poner en práctica. Sé que lo hacemos a diario, porque si ustedes se dan cuenta, iniciamos con, eh, con preguntas tales como ¿qué aprendiste ahora? Uh, ¿Qué hay de nuevo con tu aprendizaje en el segundo idioma? Esa es mi primera pregunta. Y Uh, ya luego pues vamos adentrándonos al tema que corresponde, ya luego hacemos unos ejercicios que nos atan a, digamos, a una, un enlace o a los ejercicios que están en la plataforma y ya luego ustedes hacen algo libre, ¿verdad? De esa manera hemos venido trabajando, pero ya el día miércoles, pues eso va a ser como, wow, esto es como tratar de integrar todo lo que hemos venido estudiando últimamente. Hemos estudiado presente perfecto, hemos hecho una comparación de pasado simple con presente perfecto. O sea, hay mucha información ahí que está eh, disponible para que la pongamos en práctica. Dijimos cinco minutos máximo, dijimos tres minutos eh, mínimo. Eh, esto con el objetivo de presentar la información sin necesidad de leer, ¿ok? Están en un nivel en donde ya prácticamente no vamos a depender de, un, de los apuntes que tengamos, ¿ok? Sino más bien de lo que hemos aprendido, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Preguntas al respecto? ¿Comentarios? Bueno, voy a cerrar entonces dando este consejo que siempre me gusta dar, que es nunca se detengan en su aprendizaje. 
Esta es una hora, son 60 minutos en los que, los que invertimos para aprender el segundo idioma, pero esa no es la barrera que nos va a decir que dependamos de una, de una sesión, de una hora, sino que más bien eh, inglés corporativo lo que pretende es que ustedes eh, sean bilingües okay, a la brevedad posible. Nosotros queremos que ustedes aprendan bien, Efectivamente, y con mientras más rápido lo hagan, pues mucho que mejor, ¿verdad? Algunas veces algunos de ustedes nos sorprenden acá en las sesiones con temas que no hemos estudiado y de repente sacan algo que ustedes, ustedes han estudiado por sí mismos y eso es genial. Así que, cuando puedan, siempre que puedan, estudien inglés. See you the next week. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. See you the next week. See you the next week. Have Thank a you. nice you weekend. Have a nice weekend, people. Goodbye. Thank you. You too. Thank you, Chef. Sure.